Hello there. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to handle refueling Airbus A320 NEO aircraft. Refueling an aircraft is one of the most dangerous tasks performed on an airport's apron. The hazard of fire, spills and other dangers are high, so you must follow many safety rules. But don't worry, I will explain everything to you. An aircraft is standing at the stand, with a planned departure very soon. Your task is to refuel the appropriate amount of fuel and ensure that the tanks are properly balanced. Get into the tanker truck and drive it to the vicinity of the indicated aircraft. Remember, under no circumstances should you turn off the engine in the tanker when refueling. There is an important reason for this, namely, in the event of a fire, you must quickly move the tanker away from the aircraft and the terminal to prevent a potential disaster. Okay, jump out of the cab and then open the door to the tanker's fuel compartment. Now you will need to protect yourself and the aircraft from possible sparks by connecting the grounding cable. Grab the grounding cable on the left side of the container. To connect the grounding cable, go to the aircraft's rear wheel and follow the actions displayed on the screen. Then open the flap on the aircraft wing to prepare for connecting the fuel hose. Approach the tanker, grab the fuel hose and pull it under the wing and connect it to the inlet. Great! Now check the tablet for the amount of fuel you'll need to refuel the aircraft. Go to the Operations tab. Select the aircraft that you need to refuel. In the Task table, you will see the amount of fuel you need to refuel. Then go to the aircraft's refueling panel. Now that the fuel panel is revealed, take a moment to study it, and I'll explain how to use it. Starting from the top, you have the fuel quantity displayed on three screens, showing the amount of fuel in each tank. Below there are three indicators that tell you whether the valve to the tank is open. These switches are used to manually open or close the valves. This switch is used to select the mode between refueling and draining fuel from the tanks. Using this switch, you perform two tests. The high-level test checks the operation of the high-level fuel lights. LTS checks the proper operation of all fuel level sensors and screens. This switch starts the batteries needed to start the fuel panel system. On the left side, there is a display that informs you about the amount of fuel you have selected to refuel. Below it, there is a switch that adjusts the final fuel value. On the right side, the display shows the total fuel amount from all tanks. The end lamp informs you when the refueling process is complete. Now that the panel has been explained, we will focus on refueling itself. You need to distribute the amount of fuel indicated in the tablet between the three tanks of the aircraft. Unlike the 737, in the A320, the computer automatically distributes fuel between tanks. Your task is to select the appropriate amount of fuel using the pre-selected switch. To set the desired amount of fuel, toggle the right side of the switch. To stop, toggle the left side of the switch. If you happen to set too much fuel, you can decrease it by switching the switch to the DEC position. Now we will go through the panel preparation for refueling. Start the battery by switching it to the ON position. Then conduct the LTS test. Now start the high level test. Add 11.7 tons of fuel to the tank using the pre-selected switch.
To exit the panel view, press the button displayed on screen. Now we only need to start the pump in the tanker by pulling the first lever from the left. You don't have to worry about overfilling as it has an automatic fuel flow blocking system that will stop when the selected value on the computer is reached. Once the computer blocks the flow, you'll need to manually secure the valve by switching the switch to the closed position. After the computer blocks the flow, you must manually secure the valve by switching the mode select switch to the off position and locking the switch with a lock. Now turn off the battery on the panel. Then close the fuel panel door. Great! Approach the tanker and turn off the fuel pump. Now disconnect the hose from the aircraft and return it to the tanker. Then disconnect the grounding cable, close the panel flap on the aircraft's wing and close the flap on the tanker. To confirm that you have completed the task, use the communication panel. Open it by performing the action displayed on screen. After opening it, select the flight crew tab, then fuel and finally confirm refueling. Great! Now you can refuel an A320 aircraft. Keep in mind to move the tanker to a safe location after refueling. See you later! In today's tutorial, you'll learn about the pushback and walk-around procedures. The pushback procedure is one of the most difficult ones you can do at the airport. When pushing an aircraft back, you must be careful about your speed, the angle at which you're steering the aircraft, and of course, everyone on board the aircraft and around you. The pushback procedure is typically performed with the help of a special vehicle and a tow bar. We will be operating such a vehicle specifically designed for this task, the Goldhofer Bison. These vehicles are characterized by high power and torque, which means that certain models can push even the heaviest of aircrafts with full loads. Let's get started. Your initial task is to attach the tow bar to the back of the Bison. Before you do that, you need to prepare it for transport. Use the handle in the middle of the tow bar to lift the wheels and increase the clearance for transport. Now you're ready to attach the tow bar to the bison.
Okay, now you need to transport the vehicle with the tow bar into position in front of the aircraft we will be pushing. You must park in such a way that the tow bar is facing the aircraft's wheel. So, you'll have to maneuver in reverse. I recommend changing the camera to an external view to make your work easier. Great! Now, go out and detach the tow bar from the back of the bison. Now park the bison so that it is behind the tow bar facing the front of the plane. You must park in such a way that the tow bar is facing the aircraft's wheel. So, you'll have to maneuver in reverse. I recommend changing the camera to an external view to make your work easier. Great! Now wait for the aircraft to start the APU. In this case, the APU will be started automatically. In a normal scenario, you'll have to notify the pilots of the APU startup, but you'll learn about this in the GPU tutorial. Before departure, you must check if all the aircraft components have been secured and if there are any items on the plane. This process is called the walk-around, in which you walk around the plane, checking its individual components and verifying that they've not been damaged. To do the verification, approach the highlighted area and hold down the button displayed until it is verified. If you believe all the elements have been checked thoroughly, open the communication panel, go to the flight deck tab and then select walk around. your task is to attach the tow bar to the aircraft. To do this, approach it and grab it by the front handles by performing the displayed action. Then using the controls displayed, you can guide it with you. To turn the tow bar left or right, use the buttons displayed. To tilt the tow bar up or down, use the buttons displayed. Now that you know how to operate the tow bar, Attach it to the indicated element on the aircraft's front wheel. Then, attach the tow bar to the front hitch of the bison. Great, now get behind the wheel of the bison. Before you begin pushback, you'll have to wait for a signal from the crew that you can start pushing the plane. You'll see this signal by the illumination of the position lights. 
These are red flashing lights located at the bottom and top of the aircraft. If they are on, it means you can go ahead and start pushing the plane. In this case, the plane will be taking off from runway 27, so you need to push it out to the left. Remember to make smooth movements and brake calmly if you need to, as the crew is likely conducting a safety briefing for the passengers. During the pushback, you will have to notify the crew that they may start the engines. You will do this using the communication panel in the flight deck tab. Remember to inform the pilots to start the engines before moving the plane onto the taxiway to avoid prolonging the standing time. There will be a zone on the taxiway where you'll have to place the plane so that its wheels are inside it. The plane must be positioned as parallel as possible to the taxiway lines. Once you have stopped, the supervisor will detach the tow bar and bypass pin from the plane for you. When the tow bar is detached from the plane and reconnected to the bison, you'll have to drive back to the stand from the taxiway. Great, now go back to the stand from which we pushed the aircraft. Congratulations, you have just completed the tutorial on the pushback and walk around processes. Now you know how to perform these operations. Good luck!